<laughs> you are just too ambitious. <laughs> what did you even expect? Okay, that was a little bit too harsh. Sorry for that, but I really need to get your attention. Now when I have it, let's talk about something serious. There is something about it. You may be actually really too ambitious. Three to four unfinished games, five more prototypes, ten more games in just in your head. Does it sound familiar? It probably does because it's me. Oh, um, anyway, you're not gonna make next Skyrim. Sorry, I am not going to make next Skyrim because Skyrim was already made. But that's not the point. I mean, you can't expect from start to make masterpiece, to make brilliant game that everyone would love. Firstly, no, no one ever will make game that everyone will like. This may sound a little bit counterintuitive, but I believe in this case it's better to have quantity over quality. Second level will be better than first level. That's normal. Everyone has it like that. Because you are learning new stuff. And, and that's something that can be a real problem when you are making big game. So let's see how we can go about it. If we can't make next game, next big huge game, what about making few small games? Let's be real. Right now, your focus should be to learn as much as you can. And what do you think is best approach to learn something? Lastly, to do it a lot. What do you think you will learn from more? One huge game or 10 different finished projects? Well, from my experience, it's 10 different finished projects. Simply make a lot of small games. I mean, make a lot of prototypes, try stuff, have fun with that. If you are really ambitious, you can try to make one game a week. That's hard, but Honestly, if you are that ambitious, you can do it. Just try a lot of different stuff, get it finished as much as possible, learn as much as possible and go on, make something better, something much better. I am just lying to you because I wanna be the next man who will make next Skyrim. It's possible that you don't wanna work alone, hey? That's alright, not everyone is as, mu as much of a lonely person as I... Oh, anyway. Itch.io. What I mean by that is do game jams. You can go to itch.io and get a list of game gems, link in description of course, and right there there will be at least 10 game gems going on right now. You can write any of those teams or just write into their discord like yeah I wanna work on project, they will take you in. So with all that this will accomplish two, two very important things, it will grow your skill and your confidence. So you will be much more confident and you can finally make that Skyrim once you will have that confidence and what's m even most important you will have those skills to make that Skyrim. So win-win situation. I would definitely recommend you to take this approach if you are just starting or even if you seasonal veteran. Well I shouldn't talk to seasonal veterans but if you are here mate hey thanks for watching me. Okay. If you, uh, but if you are just really starting out, I may have something for you. I have two uh, easy videos that you can follow and learn something about game development. Here is how to make Flappy Bird and how to make RPG. I know what I said. It's not that you necessarily need to make RPG, keep calm. It's just how to make uh, most of functionality and how to make it work and look like RPG. And you could know all that. you can do all that in under 40 minutes, so it's really not that hard. Okay, think, uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope that I got my point across to you, that you learned something from this. If you did, I would really appreciate like and subscribe and all this stuff that all YouTubers want because we live from that. Yes. Anyway, put the like on. The video should end right now, but I...